Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. Did you guys like my new intro? Let me know. I want to hear what you think. Anyway, I am so excited for today's video. I am going to show you something that I get asked constantly. And well, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I create my mini rolling pins. The reason I hadn't really showed you guys in the past is because I actually sell them on my Etsy shop for those that are new. I do have an Etsy shop. I have actually been pretty horrible about, um, you know, posting anything on there, but I buy these big dowels. They're seven eighth, uh, um, inches by 36 inches. Um, you can get these at Hobby Lobby. They sell them at Walmart. Um, you can get them at Michael's. I mean, quite honestly, anywhere, uh, you can go to Home Depot, you can go to Lowe's, quite literally, you can get these anywhere. Anyway, you guys, if you're excited for this video, don't forget to show me some love by giving me that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Join the fam and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so for your uh, reference, I'm going to go ahead and put a picture up here. These are the cap assortments that I pick up, and this is the ends of my mini rolling pins. Obviously, I've had them because I use them and I sell them, as I mentioned. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and repeat the size of the dowel because I know I kind of messed that up at the beginning. Um, plus, I will go ahead and list it on the description box below. Um, but it's 7 eighths. Um, by 36 inches um, so that is the exact size for that bigger one now if you want to get use of everything I actually use the smaller caps for with smaller dowels and I use that for myself now I have a miter saw but this is a cheaper method I purchased this at Harbor Freight um, but you can pick these up anywhere I saw them at Lowe's um, I just happened to get it for super duper cheap at Harbor Freight here in Utah I don't know if those are everywhere but anyway um I love my miter saw, but it's kind of buried in my garage somewhere. And I've had this one, um, and this is what I use because, uh, you know, when I don't want to pull out the heavy machinery. And I'm going to show you guys how we're going to go ahead and just cut down the dowel and how we sand it down and get it started. You got me feeling kind of crazy. You got me feeling like my head is spinning. All right, guys, so the size is four inches. Um, so what I like to do is always give myself a little bit of a give. So we're going to go ahead and mark um, where the four inches is, but I never want to cut it right where the line is. I, I try to aim um, to go a little bit out from where that is. And we're literally going to take our saw and just keep going until we go all the way down. It's quite easy, you guys. I'm like the biggest weakling. If I could do this, you can do this. Like you set my whole world on fire I know I want you I know I need you here You are all I want tonight You know you make me feel so alive I wanna stay with you Never say goodbye It's like we're in Paris Body and the 
Once I have put it together, I go ahead and get vinyl from my Cricut and I apply it. And quite honestly, you guys can have it say anything that you want. This is one of my most popular ones and this is actually for a client. This is one that she picked, Bon Appetit. I'm not sure if I totally slaughtered that, but whatever. Anyway, and this one's going out. So it is for a client and then we are going to go ahead and add the ribbon which is quite literally the last touch um, and that pretty much concludes this cute gorgeous rolling pin and now you know my secret and know how to make it and you can make your own if you choose to do so one last thing before i forget that i neglected to tell you guys I would recommend either chalk paint or matte paint because that is how the vinyl will adhere if you do not use chalk paint and or matte paint, the vinyl has a hard time adhering. Please be careful with this step. I always do just a tad bit of fire on the ends to stop the ribbon from fraying. That gives it a sealed you know, end. And that is it, y'all. Okay guys, so for this next DIY, I wanna give credit where credit is owed. I have had people steal my ideas and take credit for them as if they made it up and it is quite painful and it's kind of annoying and I do not wanna be one of those people. So um, I saw this idea on Facebook and I thought it was genius. So I'm gonna pop a picture of the girl who actually came up with this or at least that's who I saw it from. I thought it was absolutely brilliant and I wanted to make sure to put it on a platform where more people can see it and for one dollar you guys you can't beat it and I hope you recreate it and make it your own as I did but total props and credit to her because she is the genius that came up with this.
if you guys don't have a Cricut, you don't need to use one. You can use stickers as I've mentioned in the past, you can do stamps, or you can hand write it like she did if you take a look at her picture. Um, and you can pretty much put whatever you want. You know, I did fresh cut flowers, but there's plant grow bloom, there's hello spring, home sweet home, love grows here, spring is in the air, um, you know, but you know, there's a cute one that I was going to do that's did some bunny say carrots. But then I was like, yeah, I don't want it to be just for Easter. I want it to be, you know, a whole spring one. So fresh cut flowers was it for me. Um, but, you know, I love that this looks like a stacked set of books for a book, you guys. I don't count the vinyl because I already have that on hand. And I also have the ribbon on hand and the flowers. But again, that is all you guys. And she used twine. I used ribbon. Um, she used, uh, you know, a cotton stem and I'm using a rose. So we all put our own twist to it. Nonetheless, I thank her very much for sharing that with everybody in that Facebook group because I learned this little trick and I think it is fabulous and I hadn't found one or else I would have shared it with you guys much sooner but now that I found it I'm so glad and I will be recreating some for um, other seasons as well okay guys we have made it to our last DIY and someone in the comments of my chick video had requested that I draw a bunny face so here you go and um, I hope you guys like it as much I got so much love for the chick face so I really love the way this one turned out as well um, also please don't forget to tell me which one is your favorite down below you know I usually have a favorite as well and I can honestly and truthfully tell you that this week I absolutely love every single one of my DIYs equally so I cannot pick one I love all three of them so so much but please let me know which one is your favorite I would love to hear it thank you so much and again um, I want to thank you for all of your love and support you guys have really made me so happy lately I am just incredibly grateful for how fast and how much my channel is growing it means the absolute world to me and I thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart
While I finish up my H&P, I neglected to tell you guys that I picked these up from Walmart and they were only a buck and some change. You guys, these painters paint pens have always been good to me, but today for whatever reason, I it just was not working. So we're just gonna go ahead and work with acrylic paint. And trust me, there are times when I look at my artwork and I'm like, this is gonna turn out so ugly. But you guys have to have faith in yourself and just keep going and trust in your work. And you guys, it turned out so cute and at first I was like, oh, I messed this up so bad. I contemplated just sanding it and then restarting it. And I'm so glad that I just kept going, you guys.
I really hope you have enjoyed today's video. I definitely have enjoyed making all of my crafts for you today. And I certainly hope that you share my content with anyone that you think might like it. Don't forget to show me some love by giving me that thumbs up. And as always, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.